Hello again. It's Mark with Mark's Minerals. How are you? Uh, today I'm carving on a little bit of um, Deer Creek. It's old stock. It was hand collected back in the early 80s, I think 1984, April of 1984 if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look that up. But anyhow, it's some high grade and so basically the only thing that I have to do is remove the chalcedony cap and get down in between these different individual layers to uh, expose that first layer of brown because the color should be hiding underneath that first layer of brown. It's filled with a bunch of beautiful formations like Saganetic sprays and uh, these different ridges and valleys so I'm going to show you that up close here in a second. Okie dokie. So this is that piece of Deer Creek and um, if you're wondering what I meant when I said Saganetic Sprays, you should see these little rods sticking out here. See that? Tiny little rods that stick out. And these little bubbles, little stalactites, on the end, they're usually tipped with uh, whatever colors are layered throughout the agate. So as you're carving, sometimes you'll see these. And there's this one has some really beautiful sprays. It's It would make a great specimen piece, but um, it's got some nice color. So I've been slowly, slowly peeling back this layer of the um, Saganite with some tiny tools. The one that I've chosen for this one is a tiny medium grit um, ball tip and I've just been slowly working through there lots of water very gentle pressure I want to keep full control over this I don't want it to skid across and scratch the surface <coughs> pardon so slow and steady wins the race here and I'm gonna continue here continue through here work out and then I'm going to slowly approach the top of the bubble from the top down. So that's my method. I want to show you what I'm working with. And uh, I was also thinking one thing I might have to do here in this instance. Let's see if we can get this to focus. I think I need to cut this lobe off because it's getting in the way of me uh, clearing this area. And it's a very thin layer through here to clear agate so it's not really desirable it's not as dark as this part <coughs> pardon when you judge the stone you have to figure out what you're going to go for you know there's obviously different layers you can see that here and this one just isn't desirable for me right now so I'm going to get rid of it okie dokie I think we'll be back uh, do a little sign and then do a little cleaning so at this point in carving, I hope that you're observing uh, some basic safety precautions. I hope that you're using a mask. At least, um, I, I like to use a 3M respirator, but uh, any N9 series mask or better will keep the particulates out. You don't want to be breathing silica dust. It can lead to silicosis and some other nasty conditions. And uh, let's see if we can get this to focus again. Sorry about that. Alrighty. So you're going to want to take care of yourself first. Make sure you're not wearing any loose fitting clothes. I am wearing gloves just to protect uh, my fingers. I have a paper cut. I don't want to get rock dust in there. Um, let's see. This is going to be really tricky. Let's see if I can uh, reduce this and get it to carve. Here we go. Just giving you a basic rundown of what I'm doing here to uh... here we go. Slowly and steadily, I'm working over the stone to remove the chalcedony. And you can see it, it'll flake away in sheets. 
and I just barely want to expose the layer underneath. I don't want to work into it or I risk losing my color with this coarse bit. So gently, consistently working over the stone Well, I'm sorry, this is nearly impossible for me to get focused. Sure, as soon as the camera stops, it starts to focus again. Well, I hope you're able to see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to just continue to explain it. I'm slowly working down, peeling away a little layer at a time. You can see the white film there, almost like plaque on teeth. I'm just basically pressure flaking it off with this instead of uh, napping it with something else. So, uh, dang. Well, I truly hope to have a better camera set up here for this situation very soon. Um, I'm looking into another camera so I can do some better video for you but I'm trying to give you an idea of how I get started so uh, I'm gonna call it good for now and then I'll be back when I'm able to uh, get a little better picture of this once I clean this lip off get the rest of this off and I start to dip into the colors I'll be back with another video thanks again for watching Mark's Minerals videos we really appreciate everyone who's liked and subscribed um, please feel free to share the video with friends. Let people know if you're interested in carving fire agate. You can go ahead and watch the tutorials. If you have any other questions after that, please email me at mark.ruiz.fireagate at gmail.com. That'll be listed in the, uh, in the description. And you could also check me out on marksminerals.org. Thanks again. I hope you have a lovely evening. Take care.